Good evening from Expert Credit Sweep. So we are talking about student loans tonight and there's one thing that I wanna to say to you first before we start. Thanks for believing enough in me to think I would have anything useful to say about this topic. However, I don't. Having said that, there are tools that you can use and I'm just going to point out a couple of them. So there's a Navient article that you can use uh, and it's about a lawsuit against them after a three year investigation by the CFPB and a couple of um, attorney generals. Sorry, my brain is all over the place tonight. So you would just print a copy of this and send it directly to Navient or to the bureaus. So what happened was is that people were paying on time, but they were not applying it to millions of consumer accounts. You can literally say, hey, look, you're saying that I was, you know, 30 days late on X date. I wasn't late on X date. And this actually coincides with this. You know, they didn't apply my payments correctly and they were sued for it. Real simple. Just send a copy of it. Another thing that you can look into on the Federal Student Aid website is forgiveness, cancellation, and discharge. So you never know, guys. You always wanna check out things at your disposal, and the last thing is going to be pointing out the differences, okay? So if you look at TransUnion at the top, and if you look at Equifax at the bottom, you see that these two accounts go together, but Equifax at the top and TransUnion at the bottom don't go together. Okay, so if you were going to be disputing, you would not be sending this actual page together. You would print it out, cut it in half, and mark it up just like I did and say, hey, look, this doesn't match this. This doesn't belong here. This, this, is just, this is just absolute shit, and it needs to be removed from my credit report. Here's the proof. So you're going to treat this as a charge-off. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go look at my previous videos on how to remove charge-offs. And it really applies to anything, you know, it's just pointing at the differences. So if you need help with student loans, tonight I'm going to tell you it's not me, okay? You know, there's tons of other companies out there that, you know, maybe some of them know more than I do and I know some, you know, more than they do. So just find what works for you and if working on this yourself is, you know, what needs to be done, then hey, that needs to be done. So. The last thing I want to tell you is that maybe you should look into Credit Secrets by Scott and Allison Hilton. There's some great information in there, and it might actually help you with removing negative items. So uh, if you go to page 124, there is information on removing student loans where they talk about consolidation, deferment, and forbearance. So you guys have a great evening. I will see you next Wednesday on the next how-to video, and don't forget to comment and subscribe. Have a great evening, guys.